Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Blair and welcome to my channel if you're new. Today I'm going to be sharing everything that is in my everyday makeup drawer. I have this desk that I used to film and it's also where I do my makeup every day. It has a drawer and this is what I call my everyday makeup drawer and I switched my products in here a few weeks ago or I guess it was like two weeks ago and I've been doing this same look with these products every day and I love it so I wanted to sit down and share what's in the drawer and then sit down and apply this makeup with you so if you're interested in my everyday makeup drawer and the products that are in it please keep watching please subscribe and let's go ahead and get into the video I did want to share everything that I put in my everyday drawer, just in case you were curious. I won't use all of these things today, but I'll use quite a few of them. So over here, I have my two sunscreens right now, the CeraVe Ultralight Moisturizer and the Tinted Moisturizer from Dermatology. So I have those. I have two little e.l.f. sponges back here. In this little compartment, I have two uh, lip masks basically. I have the Tasha one and the Summer Fridays. I have my Banana Bright eye cream, eyelash curler, a little lip exfoliator from e.l.f., some hair clips, and my little Ricky Loves Ricky mirror. This is actually one big piece that has the different compartments. For foundations, I chose these, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost uh, Skin Tint, Smashbox Halo All-in-One Glow, LCC Cream, and my Bare Minerals Original Powder. Over here, I have my corrector. So I have two. I have my Bobbi Brown and the Becca Under Eye Corrector. I also picked two concealers. So I have the Milani Conceal and Perfect and the Hourglass Concealer. I just have the little baby size of this one. I'm still trying to figure out what I what I think about this one but I'm using it trying to decide how I feel about it I have the Pat McGrath under eye setting powder I have my Mac paint pot and painterly and then back here I have bronzers and blushes so I have my milk matte bronzer and baked my powder Bobbi Brown bronzer uh, this is a little mini hourglass bronzer that I'm trying to use up I have this that I'm definitely going to use today. This is from Nude Sticks. It's the all over face color in the shade in the nude. And this is my new favorite cream blush. You'll see when I use it later, but I am obsessed with this color. And then I have my Buxom blush in the very back and my Elia soft focus powder. And then moving over here, I just have one palette in the drawer this time. I have the BK Beauty True Beauty Palette, a little baby MAC Prep and Prime Spray, uh, and then this. This is a newer product, but I really like this for every day. It's the Becca, let's see, Light Gleam Primer and Topper Liquid Eyeshadow. This is the shade Golden Hour. Really pretty. has a matte shade on one side and then a liquid uh, glittery shade on the other side. And then lastly, over here we have lip products, mascara, and brow products. So I have my e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil and my e.l.f. Wow Brow in here. I also have my MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint. I have a few lip liners. I have a NYX, Charlotte Tilbury, and a Marc Jacobs lip liner, one of the Maybelline lifter glosses, that is a MAC lip gloss down there, and then my only mascara I brought over here is the new Maybelline Last Sensational Sky High. I love this. I know this is super hyped up, but really this is that good, so I knew I wanted to bring that over here. And then last but not least, I have this nude lipstick. This is actually by Alexa Persico. It's the lipstick she did with Jesse James Decker. It's just a really pretty pinky nude. I really like, but I don't use it that much, so I decided to bring that over here as well. 
and that's it. That's everything that's in my drawer. It was kind of getting out of control before. It was very messy and products were just kind of getting thrown in this drawer and I thought it was time to kind of switch everything out anyway. So I just kind of redid the drawer and brought in some new things. So this is everything. I'll use most of these things today. Not everything, but I'll use a lot of them. Several of you asked for me to do what's in my everyday makeup bag and I figure this is pretty much the same thing. I don't really use a bag. I use this drawer. So I thought that this would be kind of a fun video. So let's go ahead and we'll use some of these products. Okay, let's get started. I am going to apply my CeraVe sunscreen. I haven't applied any yet, so I'm going to do that first. Hopefully you guys like this video. I think I may start doing this like once a month and switch out my products. Kind of like a shop my stash, but um, a little different because I'll use the things that are actually in this drawer and not going through my whole makeup collection. So I'm going to take three pumps of this. Next, I'm just going to take a little bit of my Banana Bright eye cream and just pat that in under my eyes. And then I'm going to take a little bit of these Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm and just put that on my lips. This is such a nice lip balm, you guys. I know it's just lip balm, but it has a really slight vanilla scent to it. And it just gives your lips that really pretty, shiny, glossy look. I don't know. I just really like it. If you want a nicer lip balm to treat yourself to, this would be a really good one. For a corrector, I'm going to use Bobbi Brown. I'm getting very, very close to being done with this, so I'm trying to use it up. Honestly, you guys, I have so many correctors. Like a lot of you know, I have so many under eye correctors, truly, but I swear none of them are as good as this one. There are some that come close, but they're not as good. So when I run out of this, I'm definitely going to have to repurchase this. I just don't see myself not having this one. And corrector is something that I'll try new ones, but I really don't love to try new ones all the time because once you find a corrector that works well for you under your eyes, you kind of don't want to mess with it. It's just, you kind of just want to leave it alone. You know what I mean? Like I had this one that you saw in the earlier clip, the Becca one. This one I've had for a while and every time I use it, I feel like it looks too like light under my eyes and I don't know, maybe I just need to play around with it a little bit more. But today I just wanted to go with the Bobbi Brown one. And then I'm just gonna take my ring finger and tap this in. Perfect. And for foundation, like you saw, I have a few different options. I think I want to use this, the Smashbox Halo Glow. I love this, you guys. It still, I'm pretty sure, has five stars on Sephora, which is kind of unheard of. Um, and I remember when I first saw this online, I was like, oh, you know, it's brand new. I'm sure that's probably why it has such good reviews, but it still has a lot of really good reviews and what I like about this is it's kind of in between a tinted I know they call it a tinted moisturizer but it gives better coverage in my opinion than the typical tinted moisturizer so to me it's kind of like in between a tinted moisturizer and a foundation which is perfect for me that's exactly what I like and I use the shade light if you're curious, it's just so nice and pretty and it just gives you a glow, but it's not like a, it's not like an oily glow or anything. It's just kind of like you have a lot of skincare on your face 
and your skin is just like glowing from within. I don't know. I really like it though. But like, see how good the coverage is? I mean, it doesn't cover everything. It's not like a full coverage or anything, but for a tinted moisturizer, this covers really well, in my opinion. And I have a good bit of discoloration on my face. So if it covers well for me and it's marketed as a tinted moisturizer, I feel like that's pretty good. I need to try to apply this one with my hands. I haven't done that yet. I've just been using a brush. This one is my uh, Smashbox Blurring Foundation Brush. And also, I think I said this in another video, but I'm gonna say it again, just in case I didn't. You might be able to find this at your TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I have not personally found it, but I've seen several people on Instagram that I follow that like shop at TJ Maxx and Marshalls frequently to see what makeup they have there. And I have seen several people finding this tinted moisturizer there. Just so you know, if you're ever there in the near future and you're looking for that product, make sure to look at the makeup. All right, for concealer, I'm gonna use this little mini hourglass. How cute is this? I love that so many brands are coming out with these minis now, like the NARS uh, Radiant Creamy comes in a little one. I know that the price is not great for your amount of product, but if you really just want to try something out and you're just not sure, I feel like this is a really good way to try it out. This is in the shade Cedar. And actually, I used to have this concealer when it first came out in a, another shade. I forget which shade it was, but it was a good bit lighter than this one. And every time I used it, I just felt like my under eyes looked so like white almost. And I know that's a very like popular look, the super bright under eye, but I don't know. I just wasn't liking it on myself. So I decided to try this concealer when I was looking at swatches online. It looked like maybe this would be a better match for me, and it is. I've used this a few times already. And this is a really nice concealer, you guys. Kind of reminds me of, what does it remind me of? Kind of reminds me of the Too Faced Born This Way concealer, but a little, thinner in consistency. I don't think it's as thick as the Born This Way, but they're very similar in my opinion. Not super, super drying, but not like a dewy concealer, just kind of more of a natural finish. And this color for me also works on my face. So I've been applying it um, anywhere where I want more coverage, like where the tinted moisturizer didn't cover a ton. I'll just add a little bit to my face and it blends in really well with that Smashbox tinted moisturizer. I feel like I'm always trying to find these like routines that I've like perfected and I love the way it looks every time so that during the week when I don't have a lot of time, I'm trying to get ready to work and I just wanna put on a little bit of makeup. I like to have a set routine like this that I know I like how it looks, I can do it really quickly and I don't have to worry about it. Especially for my job now, I'm sh I know a lot of people are like this. I do a lot of um, Zoom calls or we don't use zoom we use microsoft teams but you have to turn your camera on for a lot of them and i don't mind turning my camera on and not having any makeup on but if i have the choice i would rather have just a little bit of something on my face so this has kind of been my go-to recently okay see how pretty this is doesn't look 
super overdone, super cakey, but it's so pretty. I love it. Okay, for a bronzer, I've been using this again. This is the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer. This one is in the shade Baked. I used this a ton when I first got it, and then, I don't know, you know how it goes. You just start using other things, and I kind of forgot about this, honestly, but I pulled it out when I was redoing my everyday drawer, and I love this. I cannot believe I stopped using this, and I'm using it with this Fenty brush. It's the... Fenty 125 face brush, but it's angled, and it's the perfect shape for cream bronzer and blush. So I've been using this for my bronzer and my blush also. And I just kind of stamp it on. Another thing I wanna tell you is this Milk Makeup Bronzer, if you want this, I have seen this so many times in the last month or so at TJ Maxx. So if you really want this, and I think it's like $9.99 there, look at TJ Maxx. I bet you can find it. Don't pay full price for it. I've had mine for a long time, so I definitely paid full price for mine. But I've seen it several times at TJ Maxx recently, just FYI. So if you want this check there I've been loving this so much honestly that I kind of want to buy a backup for only ten dollars because this is so nice and okay this has been my favorite everyday product not kidding I've used this every single day since I redid this drawer and I'm obsessed with this I didn't even realize I had this to be honest I found this nude sticks all over face color in the shade in the nude and this is what it looks like i don't know what it is about this color but i am obsessed with it it's just a warm nude but i love this and it is so easy to apply i just dot it on And bring some on my nose too, even a little bit up here. And then I take the same Fenty brush and just kind of stipple it in. And look how easy this blends out. Like that took no time at all. And it looks so good with this milk bronzer. And I like this one in particular because it's actually more of a matte finish blush, so it doesn't stay super like dewy looking on your face. It does kind of when you first apply it, but then it dries down to more of a matte finish, which I really like also. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. This is my new favorite product, truly. It does come with this little brush thing on the end, but I never use that. This is a really good brush too, this one from Fenty, because it's angled like this, but you can use any angled brush. It doesn't have to be this one. I'm obsessed with this. Now I wanna use the Pat McGrath Under Eye Setting Powder. This one is in the shade Light. It's very, um, you really can't see it under your eyes. It's translucent. But it definitely has a little bit of a brightening effect to it. Like, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell on camera. But it definitely does. This is the lightest color. I kind of want to get shade number two. Which is a little bit more of a skin tone shade. Not so light. I would be curious to see what the difference is. But I really like this powder. I need to pull this out more too. And then I've been taking just a tiny bit of the Ilia Soft Focus Finishing Powder. This is a powder I've had forever and I don't know why I just don't ever reach for it. 
Sometimes I find that I reach more for um, pressed powders over loose powders. I don't know why. But I literally just take a little bit of this and go over my whole face lightly. And that's it. This powder is very similar to the Pat McGrath. You cannot, it does not look powdery on your skin at all. I like this a lot. All right, and then I've been doing this. This is totally unnecessary. I'm just trying to use this up. I've been taking this little baby hourglass bronzer in luminous bronze light. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm very close to hitting pan on this. And I've just been lightly kind of going over where I put that milk bronzer. And then I've been using this on my eyes as well. So you'll see that in a second. Now I just want to quickly fill in my brows with my e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. And I don't do a ton to my brows on an everyday basis. I just kind of brush them up and then I lightly fill in with this pencil. This is really easy to do actually with this pencil because it's such, um, has a thicker tip to it. So it's pretty easy to use to fill in anywhere where you have like sparse areas. I'm sure you know what's coming next. I use the e.l.f. Wow Brow and just kind of brush them up. And that's it, that's all I do. I don't spend a ton of time on my brows on a daily basis. Now for any eyeshadow, what I've been doing is again taking the Milk Bronzer and any eyeshadow brush. This is the BK Beauty 205. It's a little angled brush. And I've been taking the bronzer and getting it right above my crease and then using the angled part of the brush to kind of drag it out and create a little bit of the winged out shape that I personally like on my eye shape. And I kind of make sure to leave my eye open when I'm doing this so I can actually see like what it's gonna look like. And last I take my hourglass bronzer and any fluffy crease brush and I just get some of that on there and just kind of go over where we put that milk bronzer. And that's it. Super easy. Then I will take my Charlotte Tilbury eye powder pencil in the brown shade and I'm sure you know what's coming next. We're gonna do our little baby wing. So I'm just drawing a little bit on the outer edge and dragging it outward. And then I'll take my BK Beauty 208 brush and kind of fix the line a little bit. And I just use my brush to kind of drag it out. I've been doing this most days when I do my makeup because I feel like the more I do it, the better I'll get at it. And then hopefully I can get faster at it and do it in not very much time when I need to. And that's it for the eyes. I'm not super worried about it being really, really perfect. I just want it to be, you know, somewhat decent looking. And then I will also take a little bit of the hourglass bronzer and run that on my lower lash line. 
Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes. And for mascara, I'm going to use the new Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. This is so nice. I mentioned in one of my last videos where I tried this for the first time that I've seen a lot of people say that this mascara is really hard to remove. I will say the first time I tried to remove it, I tried to use a, a cleansing balm at night to remove all of my makeup and it did not want to come off with the cleansing balm. I don't know why, it just did not want to come off. So I then tried taking it off with some Bioderma and that worked perfectly. So I don't know what it is with the um, cleansing balm, but it, that just did not work. It did not want to come off. I don't know if they intended for this to be a tubing mascara, but I do notice that it comes off in little balls when it comes off your eyes. So I don't know if it's supposed to be a tubing mascara or not, but Bioderma worked really well to remove it. The other really nice thing about this mascara is it's not a really thick formula, so you can layer it really well and you don't have to worry about it making your lashes super clumpy or anything. And the other thing that's nice about it is the wand is very flexible, which makes it, it's hard to explain, but it makes it easier to kind of get in there and really get at the base of your lashes. This is one product I do think is worth the hype. I mean, look at, look at that link. Oh. I'm going to put a little bit on my lower lashes also. For a lip liner, I have a few that I've been using, but I'm going to use Marc Jacobs. I think this is the Pout Liner. Yeah, Pout Liner in the shade Nudist. And let's see, what do I want to do? I think I'm going to take this. This is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. I love these. I know a lot of people do. They're super popular. This one is in the shade Stone. And it's just a really nice nude. And it looks really good with that lip liner. Lastly, I'm going to take my MAC uh, Fix Plus, the little baby size, and set my face. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know several of you had asked me to do what's in my everyday makeup bag, so I figured this would be the same thing. And I am obsessed with these products, you guys. I don't know how I pick such a good combination when I was picking these things but everything just works really well together and like I said I've done the same look over and over and over and every time I love it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and go follow me on Instagram at the same username simply.player. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Remember simply be you. Bye.